Hi everyone! So the South African Programming Olympiad now has an online evaluation server where you can practice submitting solutions to any past contest problem as far back as 2002. So to get started, go to any web browser and go to sacco-evaluator.org.za and you'll be greeted by a welcome page as shown on the screen here. Now there are various links available, some of which will give further guidance regarding how to prep for the different rounds of the programming Olympiad. And there are some also some links down here to other training materials which you can take a look at. All right, so to enter the evaluator, simply click on the Enter Contest Server button, the big one here at the center of the screen. Now here you'll see a list of SAPO contests from 2002 to 2018. Select the contest which you'd like to practice. So for example, let's do SAPO 2016 round one. All right, now before we can access the site, we'll first need to register an account. So click on register and fill in your details. So your first name, last name, email address, and then select your school. Now, if your school is not given in the list here, then you can just select school not shown and enter in your full school name over here. Okay, and finally choose any username you like and a password and confirm. All right, once it's done, you can click register at the bottom and now your account has successfully been created. Okay, so you can either go back to the contest list or just click the button here to go back to the login page. And from here, you can enter in your username and your password and click login. Okay, fantastic. So we've now entered the contest. Now, the first thing you'll notice are three problems listed here underneath task overview. So for round one of SAPO 2016, these were speeding, maths, and encryption. You'll also see the three problems listed on the left-hand side of the screen, speeding, maths, encryption. Okay, so let's try submitting a solution for one of the problems. Uh, let's just do the first one for now, speeding. To get started, click on statement just underneath the problem name on the left-hand side. Now click on download task statement, and you can either open or save the file to any location. It doesn't matter what you choose. So let's just save the file somewhere. Okay, so once it's downloaded, we can open the PDF. All right, and this is what we get. So we have a short introduction to the problem here, and it essentially tells us that we must write a program which takes in the time and the distance as input, and we must give the speed as the output in kilometers per hour. And the time is given in seconds and the distance in meters. Okay, so we can scroll down and we see there are some further examples given here. Uh, so for example, if the input is 30 space 1000, then the output must be exactly 120. Uh, and similarly, if the input is 4 space 75, then the output must be 67. All right. So once you've read through the task statement and have understood the problem and uh, perhaps worked through one or two examples, we can now try coding up a solution. So let's go back to the contest page and let's go to submissions on the left-hand side. Now here is where you can submit your code for the problem. Now it's recommended to use one of the template files that we provide for a specific problem. So if you go back to the statements page, then you'll see some templates given at the bottom here. You'll notice different files for different languages. So if you want to solve the problem in C++, you can download the C++ template. If you want to use Java, you can download the Java template. Uh, for Pascal, download the Pascal template, or for Python, the Python template. Um, I, I will mention there is certainly no requirement to use the templates. You are, of course, welcome to code up your own solutions from scratch. Uh, for now, though, we'll just stick to using templates as it provides us with the basic code layout to help us get started. Okay, so let's download the Pascal template over here. 
and let's save it. And you can save it any way you like. Doesn't matter if it's in the downloads folder, documents or on the desktop, uh, just save it in any location where it's easily accessible. Uh, now, in short, you're welcome to use any editor you want. For this video, I'm just going to use the simple editor Notepad++. As you can see here, I've just, up, uh, I've just opened the template file. Um, now, there are many other programming text editors that you may want to use. For a more detailed discussion, uh, there is a link to a separate video in the description uh, where I talk in more depth about uh, what you should or should not use regarding editors. Uh, basically, the long and short of it is that you should avoid using IDEs like Delphi 2010 or NetBeans and rather stick to simple text editors like Notepad++ or um, Atom or VS Code or alternatively, uh, there's also online compilers which you can use. Anyway, okay. So after opening the template file, this is the code that we are already given. Uh, notice that the input and the output has already been done for us. Right, so the input is done simply using the readlin function, so in other words from the console or terminal, and output is done using the writelin function, which outputs to the console or terminal. So no input from files is required, no graphical user interfaces are needed. You only need to use the readlin and writelin functions. And this goes for other languages as well, whether you're using C++, Java or Python, just use the respective read and write functions that you would use for a terminal or a console application. Okay, so from this, the code is simple enough that we only really need to add one more line. Uh, we just need to calculate what the speed is given the distance and time. All right, so that's easy enough. We just calculate speed is equal to the distance divided by time. Okay, great. So let's save and let's try submitting the code. So we go to submissions under speeding, click on browse, select the code that you'd like to submit. Uh, in this case, it was just the speeding.pass file, the same template file we downloaded earlier. And now click on submit. Uh, I should mention, notice that the language will automatically be selected, the one that you are using. Uh, but if not, you can just manually select it from the drop down menu underneath browse. Okay, so let's submit the file. So you'll see immediately that it will say compiling. So the evaluator is attempting to compile the code which you submitted. Uh, in this case, it says compilation failed. So this means the evaluator was not able to finish the compilation stage. All right, to figure out what went wrong, let's click on details. Uh, we can now look through the compilation logs to see exactly why our code did not compile. So we see here, it says fatal syntax error semicolon expected. Ah, so I think I know what the problem is. If we go back to our code, so we can close this and go back to the code, uh, we'll notice that in this line nine, we're actually missing a semicolon. Ah, so let's put the semicolon in and hopefully that works now. So let's try submitting again. Go to browse the file and submit. So compiling, 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 and evaluating. Ah, so notice that our code has now passed the compilation. So it said evaluating. Now this means that the evaluator successfully compiled our code and then ran it on each of the individual test cases on the evaluation server. Um, however, it does seem like we got a score of zero out of 100, meaning it didn't get any of the test cases correct. Uh, let's see why this is the case. If we click on details, we can then click on each of these subtask sections to see exactly what went wrong. <laughs> so looking at the first test case, we notice that it says incorrect first integers differ, expected 120, found 33. So this means that our code produced an output of 33, but the model solution expected an output of 120. Um, and in fact, we can see the difference in model output versus expected output for all of these test cases over here, all six of them, two in the first subtask and four in the second subtask. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what our problem was. Uh, if we go back to the code, we're calculating speed as difference, uh, dif distance, my apologies, distance over time. Um, oh, but hang on. 
Uh, if we look at the task statement, we have to output the speed in kilometers per hour, and we're given time in seconds and distance in meters. Okay, so we need to introduce a factor here of 3.6, um, or we can just multiply distance by 36, and then multiply time by 10. Okay, so hopefully this will finally work. Let's try submitting our code once again. Let's close this, browse our file, and submit. And let's see what happens. So compilation succeeded. It's now evaluating, evaluating, evaluating. Ah, oh, fantastic, 100 out of 100. Now, if you like, you can click on details again to see what it did on each of the test cases. And as expected, it got it correct on every single test case. Okay, so that's pretty much how one goes about uh, submitting solutions. Um, it's the exact same procedure for any other problem for any other contest. So for the math problem, you'd go to statement, you'd download the task statement, save it wherever you like, read through the problem, download the template file for whatever language you like in any location you want, and then use that to code up your solution. Submit your code, see how it performs. If the compilation failed, check the logs, see what went wrong, and debug your code. If compilation succeeded, but you perhaps got some answers incorrect, look at the details to see exactly what the discrepancy is between your output and the model solution output. Okay, so if you need to access documentation for any of the supported languages, you can go to the documentation tab on the left hand side here near the bottom. And here you'll find links to C++, Java, Python, and Pascal, um, as well as some more uh, comprehensive explanations for some of the messages you might see when submitting code. OK, and finally, there is the communication tab, where you can submit any questions you have about the evaluator or regarding some particular contest problem. Uh, so for example, if you're, uh, say, getting stuck on compilation, or if you're having trouble getting your code to work, uh, then send us a query and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So asking a question is as simple as that. All right, so hopefully that uh, covers everything. Uh, if you do have any further general questions or uh, inquiries regarding the evaluator, or would like to suggest any improvements, then please do let us know at admin at saccoevaluator.org.za. Uh, the email is given in the description. All right, thank you for your time.